I don't give a piss. How you gonna explain this? Forget what you think, cause this is my channel. Forget about your feelings, cause the truth is hard to handle. Pot, corn, pot, corn, pot, tart, fart. Leave a racist comment and you will get blocked. Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. Way that is. Way that all right, all right. <clears throat> LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. All right, y'all. Well, it's going down, okay? 2018 is already starting off with a bang, guys. Do you hear me? It's starting off with a bang. And uh, Cindy Dandois, let me tell you something. Battle Cat is, she's aggressively forcing her name out there. And Battle Cat pretty much said, listen, the only fight, and she actually, uh, yesterday, actually, um, I, I got through it with uh, messages, text messages, and she said, I want Cyborg. That's the only fight. She didn't say a whole lot of words to me. She said, Coach, I want Cyborg. And, guys, <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy because she had been calling out Chris Cyborg. But, to our surprise, she also said, I also want to fight Megan Anderson again. I also want to fight Anderson again. Like, it's crazy. And, you know, also, too, Cindy has come out publicly and said this. So, this is not something that she's told me behind the scenes. Cindy done came out. She done came out in public. Cindy done came out, you know, I mean, just look, Cindy want to fight. And I can't blame her. She's already beaten Megan Anderson. And she did it, what, just two short years ago. And, you know, of course, people, you know, they kind of want to forget that. They kind of want to forget it. And, you know, people who follow Megan kind of almost want to forget that it don't happen. Well, that was a couple of years ago. You know, if I fought Cindy, I'd be able to beat her right now. I don't know. I don't know about that because, you know, just like Megan has evolved, Cindy, she's evolved, okay? Her game has gotten better. So, I don't know. But I think Cindy is completely, you know, underestimated in a lot of fights. She is. But uh, Cindy said, I want to fight both of these women. And uh, Chris, and, and it's not getting any worse. It's not getting any better for Megan Anderson. I mean, it seems like everybody now who at 145, they want to beat up Megan Anderson. Chris Cyborg, she's des uh, definitely expressed that. She called Megan Anderson out immediately after the fight. She said, I want Megan Anderson. That's the fight I want next. You know, Chris not wanting to fight nobody else. Chris don't really want to fight Amanda Nunes. The person she want to fight is Megan. And I understand why Chris Cyborg wants to fight Megan. I understand. Because Megan been doing the most talking. Megan has been doing the most talking and running her mouth. And it was kind of funny because Megan was running her mouth. And then Cindy Dandois, you know, uh, sent uh, Megan Anderson a tweet and said, uh, don't forget, I beat you. Okay? And Megan was trying to play it off like, oh, well, you know, but that was two years ago. Yeah, like I haven't evolved since then. And, you know, Cindy has evolved. So it's kind of it's kind of crazy, man, how this is going down. But the fireworks are here. This is what's needed for this is what's needed for the featherweight division. Because there's not a lot happening in that division because there's not anybody in the division that want to fight Cyborg. But at least Cindy, we know Cindy for a fact won't Cyborg. But I won't believe Megan will fight Cyborg until the fight signed. And until Megan shows up on that day. I'm not going to believe anything else, okay? Now, I believe Cindy want to fight Cyborg. I believe Cindy will fight anybody, okay? Now, do I think Cindy will win? Not necessarily, but at least Cindy Dandois is going to go in there and give it her best effort. She's not going to, you know, she's not going to play the game. Cindy's going to go in there, and she's going to try to exert herself to win the fight. And Cindy Dandois, y'all, she's never out of a fight. And most of the fight she's in, you know, it seems like she's losing. And then she finds a way to win. Like, it's weird that this woman, she's definitely a pioneer. And she's going to go down, you know, when they we create a Hall of Fame for the women. Cindy Dandois is going in, okay? She's going in. One, because of just, she's very passive. But she's passive aggressive. And she doesn't, she doesn't just lay down and lose, okay? E even, even when she's at her worst, man, she still brings out the best in herself. So, it's going to be interesting, okay? I think Cyborg beats them both, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. Like, you know, would the UFC bring Battle Cat back? Because, you know, like the UFC, they got issues with Dandois. We know they do because they actually cut Dandois after the first fight with Alexis Davis, which it's not her fault. They brought her in and then, you know, they just signed a girl and then gave her like a, a, a short fight notice. And so, you know, Cindy Dandois, you know, had to be in shape. And, you know, she wasn't in shape. They gave her two or three weeks. And, you know, she wasn't in shape. And that's not enough time to get in any kind of shape to go fight a high-level opponent like Alexis Davis. I mean, so she was set up. You know, Cindy Dandois was set up from the beginning. 
and I don't know what they were going to do with Cindy. I think that they were just going to throw her in there with Cyborg, uh, you know, hoping that that would happen. But then this fight with Alexis Davis just happened to happen, you know. So Cindy Dandoir took it, and there it was, okay. Um, I can't blame her for taking the opportunity. I mean, I can't t blame her for taking a payday. But, you know, it was bad because she didn't have the time to train. I think had Cindy had enough time to train, she would have beat Alexis Davis. That, 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 that would have been, she probably would have submitted. It would have been easy work. But guys, this is very exciting, okay? And you know, who who is it? I mean, who's going to win? Like, who's going to win? All, like, man, these are some good matchups that the UFC, they got to consider. And then you throw um, Arlene Blanco in the mix. Okay, she said, hey, I want to fight Cyborg. So you're getting women that's coming out to Woodworks that actually want to fight Chris Cyborg. Now it's just the UFC, they got to make a concerted effort to get these people there so they can start giving Chris Cyborg a run for their money, you know, for that title. Because, you know, Chris need to keep defending that belt against top level of competition, you know. And I think Chris should be allowed to fight Megan Anderson. Now, then Cindy Dandoir, I think she ought to be allowed to fight the winner. You know, that's in my world, okay. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. That's in my world. But, you know, I don't know. We'll see if this would actually happen. We'll see if it come to fruition. We just don't know, y'all. We just really, really don't know if it will come to fruition. But, man, if it do, you talking about an exciting year of fights in 2018. Well, guys, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.